gonna do something about that stuff, oh, darling. Oh. What? I've been robbed. I've been robbed. I was wearing all the jewelry when I went to sleep, and now it's gone. Okay, why were you wearing jewelry when you were asleep? Didn't that hurt? Because I can't trust any of you. I had to wear it. I was sleeping on that couch, and now it's gone. You sure it didn't just fall through the sofa cushions? No. Can you see any jewels anywhere? No. Which means one of you is a thief. Sleep on that couch, and one of you pinched the jewels right off my body. Now, wouldn't that wake you up? Well, clearly, I was drugged first. This was all planned. Hold on a minute. What do you mean, your jewels? Yeah, once we've found them, we'll revisit that concept. We yeah, will. Can, can I just say you were kind of wasted last night? I don't get wasted. It's unattractive and indiscreet, and, and, and you obviously still have a lot for, to learn about women. No, I'm just, I'm just saying, yeah, I had a little bit of wine. <laughs> You're the thief. The first to offer an explanation is always the guilty party. Uh... Okay, yeah, that may have been true in 1930s classic film noir, but ever since the cinema verite movement of the 70s, don't think so. Okay, don't defend yourself, Dylan. She's grasping at straws. Unless you're the thief. I caught you trying to steal the jewels before. Defend your daughter, man. Otherwise, we've got to listen to the dead beat dead lecture all over again. Oh, God, you're right. Now, sweetheart, I'm very proud of my little larcenist, Lulu. But... Give Daddy the jewels so we can all go back to sleep. I didn't steal anything. Well, they didn't just walk away on their own, did they? Oh, Holly, this is ridiculous. Stop making all these false accusations. Let a professional take over. Hey. Holly uncovered the culprit in her first try. Dylan does have all the motives to steal the jewels. He's a newlywed with all the inherent financial problems that that incurs. And from what I understand, his family has cut him off essentially without a dime. And you do have this sort of encyclopedic knowledge of crime dramas, any one of which could have been the blueprint for this little heist. And it is possible that the lovely young lady that sort of leapt to your defense so quickly and eagerly could be a willing accomplice. I mean, it was a long, exhausting day yesterday. We were all tired, right? No one would have any trouble sleeping. So we thought. So, we're not an easy group to obey, so Dylan would have to be extremely careful. That's where the girl comes in. There's always a girl, you know. He used every one of his ninja-like instincts for success. Come on! Okay, then why didn't they just take the stuff and run? Well, they knew that we would be right on their heels, so they wanted to just buy their time maybe while we accused Biggest Fish. Okay, no, this is absurd. I may be no safe, but everyone who knows Dylan knows that he would never be able to steal anything. Hey, easy, daughter. Don't cast the light off him. You can throw it on yourself. Or worse, me. Okay, uh, can I just... Uh, this, this is a really cool little theory, and actually I'm very flattered by it. Um, but in order to get to Holly, I have to step over Robin and uh, Robert and you. And uh, Robin may sleep soundly at night, but you guys are world-class spies with built-in radar. So uh, uh, it'd be nearly impossible to pull that off without waking up at least one of you. He has a point. Yeah. No, he does. Very good, actually. The proximity is crucial, see? And you were sleeping very close to your other ex-wife and her jewels last night, weren't you? Thanks, husband. Sweetheart, this is why people preferred me as police commissioner Just rather you. than you, because I would never accuse anyone out of spite. No, right. Just like you would never pretend to be dead all these years, causing great anguish to your wife, daughter, and brother. 
And, and the same way that you wouldn't just research this in Robin's life without so much the phone call to me. Oh, no, you're a stand-up guy, Robert, with a solid moral center. You'll never do anything unethical. Um, I think this should stop being about the jewels. You're a simple man with simple tastes, like travel, adventure, female companionship, all of which costs a lot of money. And since you're not in any kind of agency expense account anymore, these jewels are coming really handy. Mm, I was right. He's using this stupid jewel theft to blame me for the face on debacle. No, I'm not. Dylan, Lulu, pay attention. You know how they say that parents should stay together for the sake of the children? Right. Play this moment over and over again in your mind and be grateful for no-fault divorce. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but your mom thinks life's so black and white, just like one of Dylan's movies. I didn't take Holly's jewelry. Why would we believe you? Hmm. There was a chill in the air last night, as I recall. And I was warm. I was so warm that you moved in real close and threw a leg over mine when you thought I was asleep. It's a moment of weakness. It doesn't mean anything. My innocence, it does. Now... Let's go back here for a second. For me to disentangle myself from you, get up, steal the jewels, find a place to hide them, and get back in and re-entangle myself around you, well, you'd have to have completely lost your touch. All right. I stand corrected. You're uh, innocent of this crime. You're getting very resourceful in your old age. <laughs> and of course you have to be to associate 